We're starting our walk today at the Nancy Alexander Center for Animal Rights. This is Peter's headquarters in Washington. This used to be a dirt road down here, and in the 1800s, believe it or not, there was a slaughterhouse right here. There's a river, a stream that runs deep under Washington right here, but now it's the headquarters for animals. It's also an icon in itself. You see that elephant? which is against the circus. It was up there before Ringling Brothers closed. People may think it's a Republican elephant, but it's not. Inside, there's the donkey. But lots of children come and stand here with their teachers, their parents bring them, and they ask, why is the elephant crying? And it's written right on it why, why it is. So here we go on our walk down 16th Street towards the White House. Well, here we are at our first stop. This is the Washington Hilton Hotel. And in 1981, President Reagan was shot right here. 20 minutes earlier, backstory, I had been across the street at the Department of Health and Human Services. I was the pound master and Miss B, my dog and I had come to Xerox some things. We saw all the police, but we didn't think anything of it. We went back to the dog pound. With President Reagan was Officer Thomas Delahanty. And I used to adopt out all the unwanted German shepherds to the Metropolitan Police Department as long as they lived at home with the officers, which they did. And Officer Delahanty, who was also shot here with President Reagan, had one of my dogs called Kirk after me with him on that day. Officer Delahanty, everybody survived. James Brady was shot, there was a Secret Service officer shot, President Reagan was shot, Thomas Delahanty was shot. All of them survived. Officer Delahanty retired, and he took with him, of course, Kirk, my, what I call my dog. And they had a fabulous retirement party. And all I remember was all the police dogs coming to the retirement party and jumping in the pool. On we go. Behind me is Scott Circle, and on his horse is General Scott. When that statue went up, there was a lot of criticism. They said that he looked old and frail, and it was very badly done. And there was even criticism of his poor horse, who they said looked feeble and lame. But here we are. This is one of Peter's signs that's up in the fight for racial justice, the fight against racial discrimination. And you'll notice that we have animals have rights, and we're trying to get that onto all the signs. I campaigned here for Mayor Marion Barry 1987 when he was running his first term as mayor. He won, obviously, and the reason I campaigned for him is he was the only candidate who said that they would help me clean up the DC dog pound, and he was true to his word. I got the first spay clinic put in there, stopped the sale of animals to laboratories, and got people to um, only take animals if they were going into good homes. We did a lot of things together, Mayor Barry and I. Behind me is Black Lives Matter Plaza, where there's always something going on. Music, a protest. We're walking up now to the White House, and you can see that it's covered with memorials, candles, photographs, all sorts of protest things. Um, it's barricaded off now so that you can't even get to Lafayette Park, which is the park right in front of the White House. We used to look, we're eight blocks, our headquarters, eight blocks up 16th Street here. Used to look out and see Melania feeding the pigeons. Well, not really, we feed them ourselves up there. But you can't get anywhere near it. Back when President Carter was president, um, the Wild Turkey Liquor Company actually threw a turkey, a wild turkey, over the fence. And they thought it was a joke. The Secret Service called me and said, um, what shall we do? They were thinking of shooting this bird. And I said, no, give him a minute. He's intelligent, calm down. They did, luckily. And the next morning, he had worked it out and he flew under his own steam to Roosevelt Island in the Potomac River. Happy ending. Let's go. Coming this way is a presidential motorcade. One of the things that we run into in Washington all the time. 
Here we are at the Willard Intercontinental Hotel, the Hotel of Presidents. Every president has always dined here. In fact, the word lobby is supposed to have come from the Willard lobby, where all these people who wanted influence with President Ulysses S. Grant used to gather here and give him cigars and candies and who knows what, steak dinners probably. We had our very first gala here at the Willard. It was a fabulous affair. Natalie Merchant played the piano, Mickey Rourke danced his socks off, Elliot Gold sang. But the first thing we did was get the famous chef of the Willard, who was then Chef Shothroth, to create the first vegan desserts in Washington at a fancy hotel. An enormous spread. Eileen Cohen helped work with him, and they put on vegan puddings, vegan ice creams. No one had seen Gatto like it. Off we go. Look what's down here. Behind me is the Washington Monument. You can hear the helicopters, actually. I hope you can't. And there is the National Mall. We've had many exhibits on the National Mall, including the first National Animal Rights Music Festival, where the B-52s, 10,000 Maniacs, X from Xene all played. So we've also had exhibits here. We had Dr. Caligari's Arc of Pain against experiments at NIH, which we're still fighting. We had a 60 foot high bunny erected on the mall. That was against animal experiments for cosmetics. And we've had an ark. It was the last supper and it showed all these vegetarians telling us why we shouldn't eat animals. I'm always chasing children on the mall who are chasing squirrels and talking to their parents and saying, that's not allowed here. Off we go. That's the National Museum of Black History. We're here at the Lincoln Memorial, the great emancipator, the man who said, if I hear someone arguing in favor of slavery, I have this strong urge to impose it upon him. When the King of Siam decided to give America two elephants, President Lincoln said no. He didn't want them to spend the rest of their lives in a zoo. And when his father killed the family pig, he lamented it deeply and said, that was my best friend. Perhaps he's best known in our circles for saying, I am in favor of animal rights and human rights because that is the way of the whole human being. Off we go. I'm walking now along the Vietnam War Memorial. It was very controversial when it was first built. It's in a V shape. And it reminds me very much of Walt Rave. He was the person who designed Peter's very first t-shirt of the bunny sitting on the hill. Walt was in Vietnam. This memorial meant a lot to him. And Walt came back a changed man. He had seen so much carnage that he decided all life was precious. Not only human life, but animal life too. And for as long as he then lived, he's gone now, he would stand out on the street with a skinned fox in front of a store and say, here's the rest of your coat, to try to wake people up at a time when fur was acceptable. Of course, those days have gone now, and so has Walt. Rest in peace, Walt. That is the old post office building. It's now the Trump Hotel. And every April, we were outside in front of that building when it was the post office with our tax meet signs, very popular. But here I am, I'm at the J. Edgar Hoover FBI building on Pennsylvania Avenue. And do you know the FBI had a full investigation of Peter for years, fully funded? We know that because they used to sit outside our office and one winter it was so cold, I went out and offered them hot chocolate. I think the reason they had it was because I wrote a book about the Animal Liberation Front called Free the Animals. Or maybe it was because when we got 70 hours of footage of monkeys at the University of Pennsylvania 
being bashed in the head, and those are experiments we stopped, instead of going after the experimenters, the FBI came after us. And we would have to go in and out of our offices wearing monkey masks so they couldn't identify who was who, because it was just so rubbish that they did this at all. When I flew in and out of the country, I would always have my luggage searched after 9-11, another ridiculous thing. Of course, they never found anything except maybe the packages of tofu I had put down with my shoes in the luggage. But here we are, and I will tell you this, the most commonly asked question in the FBI Museum is, do you have John Dillinger's? And the answer is, no, we don't. Off we go. Here we are at the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. It's a fairly recent memorial and absolutely wonderful. Of course, everybody knows that Martin Luther King Jr. said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And we've used that in a lot of our campaigns. Almost the whole King family is now vegetarian. It started with Coretta. And when President Obama used to come here, bring foreign dignitaries to this statue and talk to them about civil rights, afterwards he would take them to Ben's Chili Bowl. This is an old black-owned restaurant in DC, been here for a million years, and they serve vegan hot dogs, vegan hamburgers, and vegan chili. And behind us, is the Tidal Basin, and that's where Carla Wapples dressed as a mermaid to persuade children not to go fishing. The children adored it, and we got tons of press. Now, off we go again. Walking along, I was thinking how we use experts. And Dr. Bart Grzolski came here from a Boston University. He was going to the um, Library of Congress to do some research. And when he walked past this bridge, there was a man fishing right there. And he complimented the man, and the man gave him a fish, a live fish. And Bart put it in the back of his car, went on to do his research. And then afterwards, while he was looking through these archives in this wonderful, ornate building, he suddenly thought, there's a fish dying in my car. And he ran out of the library and ran back to his car and threw the fish back into the water. And that's when he decided that he was going to help us. He was going to become animal rights and vegan. And he was one of our very first experts years ago. In the season, all this is white and pink. These are the cherry blossoms donated by the Japanese government. And up here, in somewhat stark contrast, is the US Holocaust Museum. We won't be stopping there today, but we give our respects. Over there, you may be able to see the very back of the White House. That's where the turkeys are pardoned. And all over Washington now are going up our posters that say, Pardon Tom, with the most beautiful picture of a turkey ever. We're walking along, that's the National Mall, and we're just about to pass the USDA. I'm moving pretty quickly past it, which is how they inspect laboratories pretty quickly and probably not more than once a year, sometimes once every two years. We've been after them for 40 years to enforce the law, the Animal Welfare Act, and they're pretty bad at it. So here it is. Took us eight years of solid legal work to get them to fine Ringling Brothers, which they eventually did, $270,000. Biggest fine in US history, beginning of the end, final nail almost in the coffin of Ringling, although not having people not go to the circus was the biggest one. We'll be back in court with them um, very soon. We're always suing them. And in January, it'll be about Lolita, the poor orca who has spent 50 years in a pool at the Miami Sea Aquarium. The USDA granted a permit, even though it's the smallest pool in the world. So see you in court, USDA. This is the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA. And in 1998, they said, when we were protesting right here, 
that they would never allow us a seat at the table. But it was just about a year ago that our Dr. Amy Kleppinger sat at a table with Dr. Andrew Wheeler, the head of the EPA, as he signed a commitment that the EPA will definitely start to move away from animal tests for chemicals. So we've also just this very minute met with them and had them agree that guinea pigs, birds, mice and rats are going to be phased out of all chemical tests too. So hooray, we're doing it. Oh, and shh. I noticed that someone had left a scooter here. Always time to educate, go vegan. And there's nothing more beautiful than having a lovely dog. Yes, there is. <laughs> oh, you're so wonderful. Do you want to come home with me? <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Here we are at the US Capitol. Tons of memories here. Newt Gingrich once brought a herd of elephants to the Capitol. Couldn't do that today. We descended on him like a ton of bricks. We've been up there testifying. We testified to improve the Animal Welfare Act, the amendments to it. And Edie Falco has been up there. She helped us by testifying against the use of goats and other animals in military wound testing, and we stopped it all. And Alec Baldwin came here too, and he testified against the use of animals in traveling shows. You know, we've closed a lot of those and roadside zoos too, all finished. And once I drove Rue McClanahan in a golf cart under the US Capitol, right here. Most people don't know that tunnel exists. Hi, little fella. Here we are at the US Supreme Court. Most people don't realize that years ago there were wild dogs living in holes they dug along the grounds of the Supreme Court. When they had a rat problem, we came out and helped them with humane trapping. And of course, this is the place where we argued to the United States Supreme Court justices the case of the Silver Spring Monkeys. And we got a unanimous decision in our favor. Our legal team has been up here arguing several times. We've had three cases for protecting the rights of protesters, the right of free speech. As they say, if you don't push the envelope, it's just stationary. Here we are at the Library of Congress where Dr. Grzolski became an animal rights activist. And of course, it's stuffed full of animal rights books as well as everything else. It's been a chilly day. It's been a lovely walk. We've only caught a tiniest glimpse of Washington and its animal rights history. Now I'm going to head back to our HQ, Nancy Alexander, Center for Animal Rights, and as Representative John Lewis said, make some more good trouble. So long, we'll have to do this again.